Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've had a little bit of a stressful day today. <laughs> it is actually Wednesday and um, I wasn't planning on filming today. I was gonna film this video tomorrow on Thursday, but um, honestly, when I have like a busy day, when I know it's gonna be a busy day, I don't plan on filming for that day. But honestly, I think sometimes when I am busy, it's smart to film because really my YouTube channel here is my outlet and it is where I can go to have fun. So um, I am going to film today and this, this, I was very excited and looking forward to film. I was like, you know what? I actually want to film this right now um, at 9 p.m. I don't want to wait till tomorrow morning to film. So we are up in the room where we film when it is nighttime. I actually have a good old fashioned haul for you guys here today. I think filming hauls is my favorite um, videos to film. So we got an after Christmas sale haul here. Um, it's actually a collective haul. I've got a few different companies looking at them right here. I've got some homework, so I've got some Kringle and I actually have some Yankee Candle as well. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I picked up. Uh, I actually have one more order that is still coming in the mail. I placed it the other day. It's a Yankee Candle haul on their signature medium jars. And um, by the way, we're going to get into the price um, increase because whew, it is a hike. Like it is a really big price increase. We'll talk about that when I get to Yankee. But um, anyways, I still have one more thing to come. I'm not going to do a whole video on it, but I will share it with you guys on my Instagram when it gets here. So Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Connor Loves Candles down below in the description box as well. Um, after Christmas sales are really a good time to stock up. Um, honestly, I would say they're probably the best deal that you're going to get on things. Um, there are some companies like Yankee who are really only clearancing off like their fall and Christmas stuff. And then Kringle was actually clearancing off a lot of like spring stuff as well. So did pick up a few new things for me to try from them. But uh, yeah, I have a lot to cover in this video. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Um, I'm gonna start with Homeworks because it's just a little small haul that I have. So Macy's was doing a $10, I believe, on all of their Homeworks Christmas candles. So of course I had to partake because well, I wasn't planning to partake, but I was like, this is such a good deal. And they had one of my beloveds, which I'm about to show you guys in a second. And I was like, I really want to try this one um, and the newer one. And I just love it. So why not get it for $10? Even if it doesn't perform well, I'm just going to get it anyways. So um, deck the halls. I love my deck the halls. You guys know deck the halls is one of my favorite holiday ones from Homeworks. So... Do really love this. This is Notes of Blue Spruce, Frozen Evergreen, Glacial Eucalyptus, and Iced Moss. Mm, I love Deck the Halls. This is one of my favorites. Mm, this is nice. I'm hoping that this is going to perform well. I did get two boxes of it. So um, let me um, unbox the other one for you guys. I did get two of it, like I said. Um, but... These are going to be sitting for a year, so I'm hoping that they will, here's the other one, I'm hoping that they will have time to cure over that time and hopefully the strength and the thrift specifically will increase because that's been a big problem for me. So um, I'm hoping giving it time, um, these won't get burned till like next holiday season, so they're going down in the good old candle cabinet uh, for the next several months before they get burned. But um, I do really like these on cold. They smell good. So let's just hope that they um, perform well. Let me check out the poor dates. 2022-0708 for both of them. So July 8th of 2022 for both of these. So fingers crossed that these do perform well. That is my Homeworks haul for you. Pick those up in Macy's and got free shipping. So that's a pretty good thing. Okay, now let's get into the rest of the haul. So we will start with Yankee. So I have a big Yankee bag here. Um, I actually work at Yankee Candle. If you guys did not know, I am one of the few that still has a Yankee near me. It is five minutes away from me. Super, you know, accessible to me. So I do still shop Yankee. I know a lot of people 
really kind of abandoned Yankee. Sorry, I'm unboxing this bag as we go. But um, I still really like Yankee and I work there. So I know a lot of this stuff that goes on. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. But let me show you guys what I got. So first thing here, I'm a little late to the game. I got a centerpiece warmer. So I um, have really been interested in these for a really long time, but I never pulled the trigger and got one. So when I saw that this was on sale for half off and it's only $12, I was like, I'm going to have to pick this up. I almost got two of them, but I'm thinking if I really like it when I use it, I'll go back and get the other one. Hopefully they'll still have it, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so the centerpiece warmer, basically you get these milk cups right here. And so these um, come in a plastic cup and you literally just pop it in. You don't have to like take the wax out. It's mess free. And then what you can do is you can actually like put these in the freezer pop the wax out once the wax is gone and then you can put like Scentsy in here or like any other wax melts you can just put in this cup. So um, I'm really excited to use this. I think I'm gonna do a whole video on the centerpiece um, melter. So be on the lookout for that coming soon because I cannot wait to start using this. I only picked up one of the milk cups. This is the Ocean Air. Ocean Air is definitely one of my favorites. Mm, I love Ocean Air. These run for $6, but what I plan to do, honestly, is just get a few of these and then start putting, like, my Scentsy in here because I love the easy cleanup and, like, no mess, so that is really why I'm excited to use this, but um, I am just super excited. I've not even unboxed it. I'm actually going to set it up after I finish this video, so be on the lookout for a video of that coming soon. The rest of what I got from Yankee, I did pick up some wax melts here. These are the Woodwick wax melts. The first ones that I got, I got two more of my Cafe Sweets Max uh, or wax melts from Woodwick. Um, you guys know I love Cafe Sweets. This is a vanilla bean, caramel, and biscotti. So each row is a different flavor. So we got vanilla bean, then caramel, then biscotti. Mmm. I love every layer of this. This is actually going downstairs right now in my bathroom, in the kitchen bathroom, and it is really delicious. They only had two left in the entire store, so I picked up the uh, last two that we had. So, love that scent. And then the other one that I got from Yankee was pumpkin praline. So, um, I've never tried this one before, and I know that this is like technically a fall scent, but... I thought, you know what, this one will be delicious now. Um, they also had, what is it called? Pumpkin butter in the Woodwick, which pumpkin buttercream they used to have, or pumpkin butter, whatever it was. They used to have that in the Yankee Candle. Love pumpkin butter. That was one of my favorites. They discontinued it, I believe, and um, it came back a few times, but it's gone now. But um, this one, or sorry, as I was saying, they had the Woodwick and pumpkin butter. It was a little bit spicy for me and not really as gourmand. Um, so that was a little upsetting. I was going to get that one, but I actually prefer the pumpkin praline. This is super delicious. This does have pumpkin in it, but it's pretty not like it's not spicy. I really don't maybe a little bit of spice, but barely at all. It really smells like that really nice, like sugary caramel praline. It's delicious. So I may have to get more of this. I am going to use this one up because I honestly think that these gourmands will be good to have, even though it's not the fall time. Okay, next up, Yankee has been doing 75% off of their Christmas and their fall wax melts. So... I was like, I'm going to be really mad at myself next fall and next holiday if I don't pick up some wax melts while they're 56 cents. So I did pick some up. So um, I got, just a little overboard, I got six of the pumpkin banana scone. These only last for like a day and I probably will go back and get more of these because $3 for all six of these plus a little bit more because they're 56 cents. But man, pumpkin banana scone. This is so good. You guys definitely have to try this one. It is a fall scent, but I'm thinking what I'll do is I'm gonna use 
three right now during January and then maybe three for the fall. Actually, I do plan on getting more of these, so I'll probably just use up all of these in the next few weeks um, and then just have more for in the fall. And I want to put these in my um, Easy Melt cup, which is right there. I want to put those in there and test them out. And then I also got six of my cranberry chutney. I really do like cranberry chutney. Used to not love this one, but I've honestly really grown to love it. And I'm going to enjoy this one um, during right now. I feel like cranberry is okay to have right now. Even though this is technically a holiday scent, cranberry is a good one, I think, to have. Um, even though the holidays are over, so... We'll be using those. That is my Yankee haul. Now let's discuss the elephant in the room, the price hike. So there was a major price increase that happened um, on Tuesday. And it was an increase on not only the signature candles, but also the Woodwick candles. So the large signature and Woodwick went up to $34, which is insane um that's a three dollar price hike they were originally 31 dollars, but they got increased to 34 34 is a lot of money y'all and three dollars is a very drastic price increase um i feel like just the timing of everything is probably not the smartest for yankee to do um i get it everything's going up eggs are going up milk is going up i get it the inflation is higher right now than it's ever been but I really just think that 34 is so crazy. And like, it's not even as bad. Like you think 34, but then you think, oh my gosh, the half off price is going to be 17. 17, that's how much they used to be originally like 10, 20 years ago. So it's really just crazy. Um, was I expecting it? I was expecting maybe like a dollar, like 32 kind of makes more sense, but like 34 is really a lot and I definitely think that they're probably going to see some people not shopping with them because that is a lot of money. Candles are not a necessity so I don't know. I definitely think that it's just I I just think it was I don't even know what I'm trying I don't know what I'm trying to say right now but I just think it's crazy and I will still be shopping with them but I really hope that they can not raise it any more than 34. Um We'll have to see though. Let me know down below in the comments of what you guys are thinking of the price increase. It's definitely crazy. <laughs> but that is my Yankee haul and my thoughts on the price increase. Okay, now let's get to um, a major box that I have here. I did take advantage of the Kringle candle and country candle after holiday sale. I picked up some of my holiday favorites and then I also picked up some spring scents that were on sale that I wanted to try that I've either had before and I know I love and scents that I've never tried before that I want to try out and review for you guys. So um, let's start off with the holiday stuff first um, and then we'll get into like the spring stuff. So, excuse me, gotta... Okay, so first thing here, I got some of the three wicks. They had these going for $12, which is insane and I'm... Probably should have picked up more of these, but I honestly don't need any more candles. So I was like, I'll limit myself. So I got two of them. This is the Juniper and Laurel right here. This is White Juniper, Laurel Leaves, Jasmine, Eucalyptus, Silver Spruce, Patchouli, and Pinecone. Mmm, I love Juniper and Laurel. This is a really nice tree scent. So I had to pick it up. These Kringle Three Wicks are so amazing. They burn perfectly and then they really have a nice increased strength and throw from the regular two wick um 100 soys these are really nice and i love the design on these these are really pretty and then i think i actually like the label on this one even more this is the winter evergreen this one does not have the notes on the bottom but this is super nice um it smells like a winter evergreen tree it truly that's what it smells like this is so good. I did reviews on both the Juniper and the Laurel and the, what is this called again? I forget. <laughs> Winter Evergreen. I did reviews on both of these, so definitely go check them out on my channel. I cannot wait to burn those. I'm saving those for next Christmas, by the way. So those are going with the deck, the hauls that I'm saving for next holiday season. Okay. 
some other Christmas stuff I picked up. I picked up a cozy Christmas in a large jar. I love cozy Christmas. This is one that I really enjoyed this holiday season. Mmm, I love this. This smells like an orange cinnamon, spicy, little bit of tree notes in the background. I just really love this and it's got a beautiful label. So this one I'm gonna be saving for next year. So that's going with the Christmas pile of stuff that's gonna go downstairs in the candle cabinet. I also picked up a holiday cookies in a large jar. Mmm, this is so good. I honestly might burn this one now because this will perfectly fit in with January and this smells so good. Holiday Cookies is my favorite cookie scent, I think, of all time. Like, Kringle really did so good on this one. Mm -hmm. This is super delicious. So, this one's either going to get saved for next year or possibly burn in the next few weeks. I did review this, so definitely go check out the review. But that is all the holiday stuff that I picked up from Kringle. Now, let's chat the year-round or just like spring and summer stuff that I picked up from them. So one that I've loved in the past that I wanted to pick up another of is the Fresh Lilac. I believe that they sold out of it in the large jar, which kind of stinks because I would have gotten this in the large jar, but I got it in the medium jar. Um, I love Fresh Lilac. This one, this is a really pretty lilac scent. You guys know I love florals and this one is really nice. This is beautiful. Um, this is one of the first Kringle candles that I ever bought. It was in my first ever order. So do you really love this one? Special to my heart. Um, one of my favorite florals of all time and just one of my favorites from Kringle. Super pretty. So that is the first one. Another spring one that I picked up was the Citrus and Sage. Mm, I really love Citrus and Sage. Um, I like this one. I think it has more of like the citrus in it than Sage and Citrus from Yankee Candle, but I do really like this. This is a really nice like kitchen one, kind of citrusy, but like got that like sage herbalness to it. Really pretty. Cannot wait to use this later on in the year. Sorry, my voice is starting to go out. <laughs> um, I picked up a... And Essentials, um, I really liked Essentials. This one came out last year. This is a dupe for um, Capri Blue Volcano. This smells really nice. I love this one. This is super nice. It's kind of like a grapefruit scent, kind of citrusy, perfect for the kitchen. I will definitely be using this sometime during the spring. Um, okay, then I actually picked up some country candles. Let me grab them all so that I don't have to like keep bending over for you guys. <laughs> Kringle does really good in their packaging, but it makes it hard for me. I probably should have unboxed this before. I do apologize. Um, okay, so the country candles that I picked up, I picked up Peach Bellini. Mm, this is really nice. I really love peach scents. Like they're one of my favorites for the spring and the summer and... This is really nice. I believe that this came out last spring, so I'll definitely have to review this one for you guys. I've not had it yet. I've had all three of those Kringle ones that I just showed you, but Peach Blini, I have yet to have burned, so I can't wait. It is in the country paraffin formula, so we will have to see how it burns. I won't poop on it yet. <laughs> I'll give it a fair shot, but I will review that one. Another one I picked up is the Mango Nectar. This one I'll probably use in the summer. But this, this is actually kind of light. It's not really what I expected because this does not really have like a very prominent mango note in it, I feel like. I feel like this is more of like a coconut. It doesn't really have a lot of mango in it. Interesting. I'll have to check out the notes on this one, but it's a little bit different than I expected. I do like it. It's just, this is definitely a summery one. So this probably will be June or July. Um... Okay, then I also got one more. This is the citrus and seagrass. Now, props to my um, grandma, uh, my dad's mom. She um, shops Kringle Candle using my code. I did introduce it to her. I kind of inherited my candle loving personality from her. So um, this is actually one that she picked up, one of her first ones, and this is one of her favorites. 
And I was like, ooh, so I smelled it at her house. I really liked it. This is really nice. Now, it to me, doesn't really smell like citrus or seagrass, but this is kind of like a cologne. It smells really nice. So I'll really be enjoying this one soon. I need to review this. This is really pretty. It's definitely like a cologne masculine type of scent. Kind of get like a wateriness to it, but it's not like super citrusy, I don't feel like. But I do really like that. And that is everything that I picked up, you guys. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys did participate in any after holiday sales with any of your favorite candle companies and let me know what you guys picked up if you did. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new here. Make sure to turn on that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.